What's good, YouTube? Dom Steven Sports Cards here, back with another video. Hope you're all doing well. Today, I have a package in the mail from my good friend Joe over at Four Soft Corners. If you haven't checked out Joe's channel, you're really missing out. I've mentioned him quite a few times over the years, but if you like the passion for vintage, low grade vintage, all the way to very nice stuff, you're gonna really like Joe's channel. Really awesome guy who has an amazing collection. Now, Joe, I don't know what's in this. You kinda just hit me up randomly saying, just so you know, there's a package coming your way. So I really appreciate it, my friend. You didn't have to do that. All right, there's a note. Dom, I've had stuff set aside for you for a while. Sorry it took me so long. No worries, man. Thank you again for the Hope Diamond Butler. Hope you enjoy your friend Joe at Four Soft Corners. Yeah, Joe, that Hope Diamond Billy Butler had to be in your collection. Beautiful card, and I've seen it in the background of a lot of your videos, so it's awesome that that card gets some shine in the background oh nice so he gave me a 1975 Jim Rice rookie card one of the greatest Red Sox of all time Hall of Famer can never have enough of those dude I don't know how you knew this but James K Polk is my favorite president <laughs> it's been a long time since he was in office a lot of people really don't know him but one of the things that I personally don't like about politics is a lot of it is a show just saying what people want to hear and actions not being the same. James K. Polk put in a four-year plan when he was in office, and everything he set out to do, he got done. I respect him a lot for that. I don't know how you found this out, how you found this card, and how you got it to me, but man, that, that is really cool, man. Thank you. Oh, these are cool. Sunoco Dream Team. Freddy Lynn and Jim Rice. Coca-Cola and Sunoco. Limited edition. Nice. I've never seen these, so that's really cool. And we got another one here of the combo of Carlton Fisk and Louis Tiant. Oh, Gypsy Queen's got some beautiful images. This Ted Williams here. And Pudge Fisk again. The original Pudge. No offense to Ivan Rodriguez. And this is another awesome image of him at the plate. And he's tagging out a Yankee, so it makes it even better. Again, Joe, you just know me. Not only is this a Carly Stremski card, but this is one of my favorite Carly Stremski images. I've used it as the header on my YouTube channels and Twitters in the past. Look at that awesome shot of him from the 1967 World Series at Fenway Park. Fenway Park with the World Series banners in the back. Yaz at the height of his powers and that follow through. Man, that's awesome. UD Masterpiece. 1961, Most Valuable Players. I still need that Frank Robinson for my tops run of his. I got a little lazy with that, but the 61 tops is one of the two last that I need. And uh, now I kind of have it. I'm halfway to it there. So thank you, brother. This really shiny Julian Edelman from Panini Infinite. It's numbered to 150 on the back. Man, I miss having a slot receiver like him. Jacoby Myers was a good slot receiver that the Patriots refused to pay, and then they bring in Juju Smith-Schuster, who has given all my Pittsburgh fans headaches and helped Kansas City win the Super Bowl last year in a smaller role. I don't know what he's got to give us, but it'll be really interesting to see if he can be the next great Patriots slot wide receiver. But this last one, from James K. Polk to that Yaz image to this card, shows how good of a friend Joe is. He puts stuff aside for me, but this beautiful 1958 
Marty Keough with the old school Red Sox logo and the same blue that is on his 1959 Topps card, which for those of you that remember or know, was my first ever vintage card that I laid eyes on was the 1959 Marty Keough. And it made me fall in love with the vintage hobby and start looking up what came before and learning about all the different old designs and old players. It was all because of a gorgeous, vibrant blue on a old school Red Sox card of this common player, Marty Keough. I did not have his 58. That's awesome, man. I really do appreciate this, Joe. Thank you so much. It was totally unnecessary. You didn't have to send me something because I sent you that butler. But I really appreciate your friendship and support all the way through. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I just wanted to announce this here. I'll be making posts about it on my Twitter and on both YouTube pages. But this Saturday, April 29th, I will be going live on the Solo Shot Sports YouTube channel, actually live from ETV Studios here. Um, it's going to be really awesome. I got everything in check to hook right into a stable internet connection with Ethernet. And I'm going to be live streaming the Solo Shot Sports podcast for episode number five. It's crazy how fast it's already came. A month of baseball out of the way getting really comfortable doing the podcast and I really appreciate each and every one of you that has taken the time to watch it comment and subscribe thank you so much for those of you that are interested in following current baseball or just hearing my throwback third base section where I talk about the history of the game and try to keep those stories and legends alive I hope to see you there on Saturday if I get a good live audience i will take some questions at the end from everybody i appreciate you guys as always and i will catch you guys in the next one peace